Welcome to School Matters, I'm Sean Gilliland. Later in this show, we'll check out some colorful creations made by our exceptional education students, discover a great use for disposing of leftover pumpkins, and stop by Challenger Field for a memorable event that won't soon be forgotten. All that and much more on the show. First up, we head to Holman Middle School, where they honored our veterans with special musical performances and student essays. The keynote speaker, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halverson of the U.S. Army, challenged students on how to best serve their country and community. Good morning. It certainly is a distinct pleasure and privilege to welcome our veterans to Holman Middle School this morning. We are happy to have you with us as we pause to recognize each of you, our veterans, for your individual and collective service to our great country. Why Veterans Day is important. Veterans Day is important because it is a day to remember all the military forces that have helped through the wars. It is a day to give thanks to our veterans for saving people's lives and for bringing peace to our country. Veterans fight to keep freedom and liberty alive and hopefully spread it to other countries. It is because of them that we're able to stand tall against threats. Regardless of what is transpiring around us, we live in a country that is free and lends itself to endless opportunity and possibility. I believe we should express our patriotism because we want to show the veterans how much we appreciate them risking their lives to protect us. Through their own experiences, fighting aggressively and suffering miserably, the pain, blood, and tears never end. These gallant veterans that are involved with life-threatening actions are known as our heroes. Veterans are confident and courageous individuals. Without them, we practically would not have history. We talk about people in the military serving their country, and um, the dictionary tells us that what that means is to act as a servant, to put the interests of other people ahead of our own. A lot of people come up to me and they, they thank me for my service, and, and I appreciate that, I truly do. And when you have the opportunity to see somebody in uniform, I'd encourage you to do that. Just go up and, and say, tell them that you're, you're very grateful for what they, the sacrifices that they make for you. But I, I want you to realize that a lot of people who don't wear the uniform serve our country as well, and they do it by serving their little slice of our country, by serving in their community. We have politicians, we call them public servants, judges, we have police officers and firefighters, there are homeless shelter workers, soup kitchen volunteers, those, those and, well, and teachers, can I get an amen on that? All right. Um, They serve our country by making their little slice of it better. But what about you? What can you do as students right here in Holman Middle School? You can serve your country by making your slice of it a little bit better. catch the entire presentation on HTPS TV later this month. The Academy of Virginia Randolph recently kicked off its second year of AVR 100 Men. Let's take a look. We have something here called the 100 Men Challenge. And two years ago, um, Mr. Milner and I talked about an opportunity that we wanted to try to create for for everybody on campus um, where they can see the presence of important men in their community that care. I'm trying to get a hundred men, that's our goal. You know, in setting goals, you know, your path and your journey toward trying to hit that goal, you're gonna achieve great things whether you get that goal or not. 
But this year, you know, it's our second year, we're really trying to get 100 men in our auditorium. If we get 100 men, that's about the same amount of boys, of young men that we have here. So what we're trying to do is get 100 men here so that our young men can see that, that the men in their lives and in their community do care about them. I think it's a great idea because, like, meeting somebody, how can I say it? Like, not meeting somebody better than you, but meeting somebody that have something going on for themselves instead of like being with the people that, that that's not doing nothing. You can't control how much money you got, right? You can't control how tall you are. You can't control how you look. But what you can control is how you show up. You can't control when it when the principal says sit up. You can't control how you walk. You can't control what time you get to class. You can't control how you talk and respect and articulate yourself. You can't control how you're doing your schoolwork. If you control the controllables, all you're going to do is have a better chance to succeed. So there's an old African uh, adage, it takes a village to raise a child. My question is, what does it take to raise a village? The village is in trouble right now. And so what I'm here to do is help with the village. You can't just do this with a, a small segment when you have such a large population. A hundred men is literally a drop in the bucket to what we really need. But if we can start here, if we can bring men together and understand that we can pass some things to the next generation, we can help shorten some steps, we can help avoid some detours, some unnecessary detours, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. I feel it, it helps. Like, this, this program was a good idea. Like, it, it helps. We need 100 men, that's our goal. Help us reach, these are your students, these are your children, these are Henrico County young men who need to see that we care about them. So I'm challenging everyone out there to help us hit our goal of 100 men. It was a great beginning to the second year of a program that is a win-win for all. Switching gears, it's time to visit Ash Elementary to see how they honored our veterans during their We Share America program. You are a young
man. I'm a scientist. Recycling takes a team. Why don't you let me and me help you out? Everyone plays a part. Don't trash. I love taking stuff apart and building new things out of it. What could be treasure? Pal's my most advanced android. <gasps> this is awesome. You haven't seen anything yet. Give your cardboard box another life. Recycle. elementary school teams hit the court for the first ever Henrico Volleyball Tournament to enhance school spirit and of course to have some fun. That could become a new tradition. Welcome back to School Matters. Next up, we've got an annual event that truly warms the heart. We're off to Tuckahoe Field for Challenger Day. <laughs> We got Shakayla coming up to bat. This event was the brainchild of my late husband, Ken Henshaw. He was a coach and a manager here at Tuckahoe Little League for almost 25 years. He saw this as a way to combine his two loves of baseball and education and to showcase this hidden gem of the challenger field out here at Tuckahoe Little League. Go up the white line. The students look forward to this every year, coming out on the baseball field. For many of these kids, it's the first time they've had a chance to be on the baseball field. And coming out to Tuckahoe Little League and the Challenger field gives them a chance to feel like every other student, uh, participating in the game of baseball, learning some skills, having a great time, um, and, and really getting involved. It, it's a great chance to get out of the classroom for some hands-on learning, uh, and a great way for them to connect with caring adults. This is a very, very special event for them. They get to come out, get away from school, have a field trip, have a picnic, perform activities, learn a little bit about baseball, pet some dogs, and have a great time. Another great event that's held each fall in Henrico County is the Walk to End Alzheimer's. This year featured an enthusiastic crowd, a wonderful cause, and a lot of color, thanks to some exceptional education students from a few of our high schools. I'm 
some of our functional students from Godwin and Deep Run and Verina were putting together flowers for our Alzheimer's Walk on November 3rd in Innsbruck. People that are in the walk or participating in the walk can come by and pick flowers. These flowers all represent a different part or a different person representing Alzheimer's. So there are four different colors. Blue stands for I have Alzheimer's. Yellow stands for a caregiver for someone with Alzheimer's. Purple is I've lost someone with Alzheimer's. And then orange is you support the cause and the vision. And then at the walk itself, there will be a uh, young child holding up one white flower, which stands for the first survivor. So it's just a nice, colorful way to bring the whole community together. These students that have put together the flowers are working on time on task, following multi-step directions. So this is a great opportunity for the classroom teachers and staff to take data on their needs and see what they can do and what they need to help them with. It's a job and it's a project and people are depending on them to finish that and, and upon their completion they'll be represented at the walk. It was very festive with all of those flowers spinning in the breeze thanks to all of the students who helped put them together. Fifth graders from Greenwood Elementary got a jump start on some career options when they had the opportunity to visit AVR and learn a little bit about their technical and trade classes. Anybody ever heard of CTE before? No? Some of you? Okay. You get into middle school, you're going to have opportunities to start deciding which way you want to go. Do you want to go to a specialty center? Do you want to go into IP? Or do you want to go take some trade classes like at Hermitage, Hermitage A Center, Hollis Springs A Center, or maybe even here at Jim Randolph? And so we're real excited to be the ones to expose you all to the CTE classes and trade. My cosmetology teacher came to me about possibly taking her kids to Greenwood but also exposing some of the Greenwood kids to her classes and it kind of just morphed into that because she actually reached out to Ryan about this you know, specific event. And our goal for this year is to get the kids off campus as much as possible. So instead of them coming to us, I said let's bring everybody here and see all the different traits, all the different uh, programs that our kids could potentially be involved in. I think this is really cool because it gives younger students an opportunity to try to see what, what careers they want to pursue in the future. I think it's really good to come in fifth grade because the students in fifth grade, they're still young and they can still make decisions, but being exposed to, to it when you're younger is a great because you can just keep learning more and more. To learn, um, have fun, and get to know other things. To be a barber, I want to, I want to go to barber school and be a barber. It gives you a chance to experience something new. When I first came and I had auto mechanics, I thought I wouldn't like it because I never tried it before, but, but when I took it, I actually liked it. I think it's cool because it shows kids different things and opportunities they have in a career and life, and uh, they can probably be enjoying it. First place we're going is graphic communication. That's my class. It's like, it's mostly around like t-shirts and buttons and stuff. Cool. I feel like it's better for kids who really want to get into something that they already know they love to so start early and get an idea of what they want to do. It's nice for us to firsthand like help our younger generation since they may not be as like ready as we are. 
It really puts our students in the mode of facilitator and teacher and leader and mentor. It gives our students opportunity to show people Virginia Randolph for who we really are, a positive place where kids learn trades, they're able to really succeed. And so it's just it's great exposure for us, especially getting our students in the classroom teaching young students what they're doing every day in their trade classes. We take a college campus tour, and so we also want to expose them to trades. You know, I love last year when Henrico County did the signing day for, for students getting jobs, and it said, well, that's an awesome opportunity for all kids, so let's, let's get them off, let's see other careers, let's see other ways that the kids uh, could get involved and, and, and have a really successful life outside of going to college or, or campus. So. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. As you can see, it was a packed house at Hermitage High School and of course a huge success. Welcome back to School Matters. We all love the fun of carving pumpkins and the sight of jack-o'-lanterns on Halloween night. But what do you do with all those decaying decorations after the holiday? Well, Ridge Elementary has the solution and they've been addressing this problem for about a decade. Yeah, we're just dropping off our pumpkin here. I met the farmer on Free Cycles who was looking for pumpkins for her pigs, and when she came to pick them up, uh, she told me she was heading all over Central Virginia. And I thought, gosh, that's really, you know, a hard time to go and collect pumpkins. So um, I called her the next uh, fall and said, do you, do you want our school to adopt you? That way you don't have to drive all over the place to get pumpkins and we can just collect them at our school. We have another one too. <laughs> We've been doing this for about 10 years and one thing developed into another and we've had a great relationship and we enjoy, thoroughly enjoy doing this. And uh, our pig, his name is Hamlet, we call him affectionately Hammy. And uh, Hammy just loves his pumpkins. Um, we give, usually give him one or two or, or every other day and he just loves his pumpkins. He looks forward to it. I give my pumpkins to the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> We have been recycling at Ridge for over 10 years now. So our kids at Ridge, when they leave here, I feel really good because I know they get it. They get that they shouldn't be wasting. They get that these are valuable resources. And when they can do something, you know, as creative as feeding their pumpkin that they carve back to a pig, they really get that this is an environmental energy that we're creating and hopefully carrying it on in their lives. It's a program that comes from the heart 
and it's, you have to really explain to people that this is truly about the environment, truly about reducing waste, um, about not letting the holidays get out of control, making things useful instead of just creating something and putting it in the trash. It's great. We love it. We love coming here and, and watching the kids. Watching, I, I think the, most of the joy is watching the kids and how elated they are in, in doing this. It's just great. In, in some years, we've had we actually have had to get two trucks. We had so many. We are so lucky this year because Governor Northam and his wife were just so generous and allowed us to come and pick up like a large portion of the pumpkins that they had on their front porch at the governor's mansion. Look at this! Now we know what to do with all of those leftover pumpkins next year. I've been told that Hammy gets a few pumpkins as a snack each day. This year's harvest should last him about six months. Speaking of Halloween, we had a group of costume preschoolers from the Newbridge Learning Center visit Central Office for some trick-or-treating and the staff went all out for the enjoyment of the children. And we'll leave you with that. For School Matters, I'm Sean Gilliland. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Ah! In Rango County Public Schools, will be closed today on Halloween because of a highly unusual snowstorm. Mask. Into the night to save the day. I'm Luna Girl and I'm going to steal all the candy. Not in my owl, but we It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yes! Oh, I love that.